relationship. Have you in Singapore or here confronted Kim Jong-un about Otto Warmbier's death? I have. Asked him to take responsibility. Have, yeah. And what did he say to you? And why do you call him your friend? I have. And I have. And I, we, I have talked about it. And I really don't think it was in his interest at all. I know the Warmbier family very well. I think they're an incredible family. Uh, what happened is horrible. I really believe something very bad happened to him. And I don't think that uh, the top leadership knew about it. I got the prisoners back. I got the hostages back. And Otto was one of the hostages, but Otto came back in a shape that was not even to be talked about. Uh, I find it, I thought it was horrible. Now, the others came back extremely healthy, but Otto came back in a condition that was uh, just, are you, are you, just terrible. Those prisons are rough. They're rough places, and bad things happened. But I really don't believe that he was uh, – he, he – I don't believe he knew about it. Did, did he say – did he tell you that he did not uh, – did Kim Jong-un tell you? He felt to... badly about it. Did I did, did speak to him. He did felt he... very badly. But he knew the case very well, but he knew it later. And, you know, you got a lot of people, a big country, a lot of people. And in those prisons and those camps, you have a lot of people. And some really bad things happened to Otto. Some really, really bad things. Why, why are you But he tells him? me – he tells me that he didn't know about it. And I will take him at his word. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am.